Hi students, today we are going to study class 9, chapter 8, quadrilaterals, exercise 8.1, questions 6 and 7. We are discussing two questions. Let's discuss the first one. That's question number 6. Our question is diagonal AC of a parallelogram ABCD bisects angle A. Show that it bisects angle C also. Second part, ABCD is a rhombus. So here uh, the figure is given. ABCD, the uh, name of the figure is ABCD. And what is given in the question? ABCD is a parallelogram. Parallelogram means opposite sides are equal and parallel. We need to show that the first part is AC bisects angle C also. It is given that AC bisects angle A. And here, um, parallelogram means opposite sides are equal and parallel. Here I am taking these two sides AB and CD. They are equal and parallel. And AC is the transversal. So, alternate interior angles will be equal. So, here I mark the angles as angle 1 and angle 2. So, angle 1 equal to angle 2. Similarly, the other pair of parallel sides are AD and BC and AC is the transversal. Then angle 3 and angle 4 are equal. Here, it is given that the diagonal AC bisects angle A. That means it divides in the angle into two equal parts. That means angle 2 and angle 3 will be equal. So from here we can understand that all the angles will be equal. So angle 1 equal to angle 4. That means the diagonal AC bisects angle C also. That's the first part is over. Now we need to prove the second part. Second part means ABCD is a rhombus. See here, in the given figure is a parallelogram and we need to prove that the given figure is a rhombus. What is the difference between these two? Parallelogram means all opposite sides are equal and parallel and rhombus means all the sides are equal. So we need to prove all sides are equal. For proving that, we actually we need to prove the adjacent sides are equal. So here one pair only are required to prove. Oh, so here I am taking in triangle ABC. We need to prove that AB equal to BC. In triangle ABC we know that angle 2 equal to angle 4. And they are equal means sides opposite to the angles also will be equal. That means AB equal to BC. That's a um, isosceles triangle property. If two angles are equal, then the sides opposite to the equal side equal angles will be equal. See here, that means ABCD is a rhombus. So, we uh, first question is completed. Hope you got the concept. And Oswald books are one of the best book for. A reference. I myself referred it and found out that this is one of the best book. It has various type of questions. See, this is uh, the content and here the chapter uh, we are discussing is quadrilaterals. See, very short, very short answer type question. Short answer type question and long answer type question. Different types of questions are available in this book. QR code is also given in the cover page. This makes your learning made simple. Moving to the second question, that's question number 7. Our question is ABCD is a rhombus. Show that diagonal AC bisects angle A as well as angle C. That's the first part. And the second part, we need to prove that diagonal BD bisects angle B as well as angle D. See, actually, this is the uh, converse of the first question. That is question number 6. And here the figure is not given. We need to draw the figure. 
and what is given a b c d is a rhombus rhombus means all sides are equal and opposite sides are equal and parallel see here angle d a c and angle b c a they are equal because alternate interior angles will be equal in rhombus and similarly angle d c a equal to angle b a c they are also alternate interior angles i use the same color uh, in the figure also so you can easily understand that and here uh, diagonal a c bisects angle a as well as angle c we need to prove that here uh, b c equal to a b what do you, why we can say like that bc equal to ab because it is a rhombus rhombus means adjacent sides are equal so if two sides are equal in a triangle then their opposite angles will be equal that means angle bca equal to angle bac similarly ad equal to cd because they are also adjacent sides in a rhombus they will be equal so opposite angles will be equal that means angle dac equal to angle dca see here i am that means all the four angles will be equal i am taking this pair angle dac equal to angle bac that means diagonal ac bisects angle a similarly i am taking the another pair angle bca equal to angle dca that means diagonal ac bisects angle c also or we can say that diagonal ac bisects angle a as well as angle c so first part is over now we need to prove the second part for that i drew the diagonal bd here also same way we can prove that angle adb and angle cbd they are alternate interior angles they will be equal and angle abd equal to angle cbd they are another pair of alternate interior angles they also will be equal and here it, the given figure is a rhombus so all sides will be equal here i am taking in triangle abd ad and ab are equal so angles opposite to the equal sides will be equal that means angle adb equal to angle abd similarly bc equal to cd so angle cbd equal to angle cdb that means all the four angles will be equal and i am taking this pair angle adb and angle cdb they are equal that means diagonal bd bisects angle d another pair angle abd and angle cbd they also will be equal so diagonal bd bisects angle b that means diagonal bd bisects angle d as well as angle b so the second part is also we have proved hope you got the concept to purchase oswald book click on the link given in the description box it's strictly updated as per the cbsc it is available for classes from 6th to 12th thank you